Hey, I'm Zoe and welcome back to my channel Zoe's All Booked. If you're new here, welcome to the shit show and welcome to my November TBR. So November is going to be another massive TBR kind of month, but this time it's not going to be number of books. It's going to be... What the fuck is going on up there? Everyone's supposed to be asleep. It's going to be number of pages. I have a TBR here that is 5,000 pages long. Why am I doing this to myself? I truly couldn't fucking tell you. Honestly, actually, it was partially because I wanted to get rid of some big books on my TBR to make space for all of the book shopping that I'm going to be doing during the holiday season and like the run up to the holiday season. So here we are with a 5,000 page long TBR. Just some BFBs, some big fucking books. Let's just get right into this because it's almost bedtime, which means it's almost time to go and watch The Office. I can't start reading these fucking books anyways until Friday. So fr Feb Friday? Friday. I almost said February. I don't quite know why, but I. that's just where I'm at. So first up, I have a series that I'm like almost ashamed to admit that I've never read given how much I love dragons and given the fact that I've always been a reader and I'm a millennial. How have I never read these books? I'm not quite sure, but we're going to rectify that in November. It's The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. These might be in the right order. They might be in the wrong order. I could not tell you. Also, I don't have the fifth book. If I do get to that, this will be much more than 5,000 pages. But for right now, I'm sticking with the original four. There's Aragon. Um, I don't know which one's the second and which one's the third, but I will find that out eventually. Uh, Eldest and Brisinger? Brisinger. Brising. I don't know. That one. And then finally, Inheritance. So these books are massive and they're about dragons and that's all I really know. Truly. I, I remember watching the movie and I thought it was okay but everyone else said it was awful because the book was so much better so I'm gonna have to read these and then rewatch the movie. Why does it... Oh I'm sitting on my phone and like a remote for a light. I'm like why does this chair feel so lumpy? I don't know what the other three books are about and I don't want to know because I don't want to spoil it for myself but Aragon. Oh right! So when I hauled this book many moons ago. I don't remember when it was. I had every notion I've had about this book violently corrected. I thought Aragon was the dragon. I truly don't remember the movie. I just remember liking it because it was dragons. But I thought Aragon was the dragon. But Aragon is the kid? News to me. So Aragon, the kid, finds a stone in the woods. He thinks it's a lucky chance for a poor farm boy. But then the dragon, the, the stone is actually a dragon. I don't remember what the dragon's name is, does it say? No, just the dragon. Okay. He has stumbled upon a legacy as old as the Empire itself, and it's not all sunshine and roses for this kid. Aragon and the dragon need to navigate this new world that they have been thrust into. I'm very excited. Will I try the audiobooks or will I try the hard copies? Both. 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 Both is good. I'm pretty sure the one library near me has all four, or I have credits on Libro FM. I don't remember what I had figured out when I made this TBR like a week or two ago, so it's gonna be an adventure. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it, I guess. Next up is one that I've had on my TBR for a very long time. Uh, this was kindly sent to me by Orbit, honestly, a very long time ago, and I'm super excited because reasons. This one is Ruination by Anth Anthony Reynolds. Yes, Anthony. I know how to read. I'm not a fraud, I promise. This is a League of Legends novel. Full disclosure, I've never played League of Legends. However, my older brother, super into the game, and he was really excited about the storyline. So maybe I'll read this and maybe try the game one day, but I don't play video games like that. I'm like a solitaire and heyday and farm hero saga kind of girly, so I don't know if I'll actually play the game, but I'm very interested in the lore around the world, basically. Um, and the back, this is all I need to know. Ancient magic, legendary champions, an empire on the verge of ruin. Say less. Actually, say a little bit more. I would like to know a little bit more, but that reeled me in. So this follows Callista and her uncle... Viego becoming king. A young and narcissistic uncle, to be 
precise. Um, Callista vows to, to temper his destructive... In I cannot speak. She vows to temper his destructive instincts as his loyal confidant, advisor, and military general. But her plans are thwarted when an assassin's poison blade strikes Viego's wife, Isolde, affecting her, afflicting her with a malady for which there is no cure. As Isolde can dis <sighs> I'm so done with this. As Isolde's condition worsens, Viego descends into madness and grief, threatening to drag Camivore down with him. Callista makes a desperate gambit to save the kingdom. She I almost did it. She searches for the long lost Blessed Isles, Rumored to hold the queen's salvation if only Callista can find them. You're a botch. Yo, you're a botch. Oh, I got my I got my chai next to me. I'm just running out a little spicy here. Oh, one second. I've got an adult root beer because why not? Okay. Is it a little a little croissant? Little Ricky's. God, I love you. Marry someone who gets all of your references, okay? That's some life advice right there. The corruption grows in the Blessed Isles capital, where a vengeful warden seeks to ensnare Callista in his cruel machinations. Machina Why am I want to say machina machinations? Stop. She will be forced to choose between her loyalty to Viego and doing what she knows is right. For even in the face of utter darkness, one noble act can shine a light that saves the world. I don't know. Is this a standalone? I don't know. But the one thing that is already really annoying me about this which like I, I might need to find the audiobook. Why are these pages so white? I don't, I don't understand. I feel like I'm reading printer paper. I mean, apropos, given that I'm going to be going to watch The Office after this. Thunder Mifflin. Okay, no, I need to, I need to drink my, my chai first. Look at this beautiful little Christmas mug. Oh, it's so festive. I love it. All I'm saying is Thanksgiving is done. My birthday is done. Halloween is in two days. I don't give a shit about Halloween, actually. I don't, I don't, I don't hate it, but I don't like love it. Like the spooky season aspect of fall. It's Christmas time. So deal with it. Also, this, this mug is resting on the box for my library Christmas tree. Couch was filming is starting soon. Anyways, we're fine. We're fine. Next up is Shadow of the Gods, The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn, um, the first book in the Bloodsworn series. I read, no, we can't see it, um, the Faithful and the Fallen series by him. Saga? Is it a saga? Is it a series? I don't remember what the actual title is. Fan-fucking-tastic audiobooks, some of the best I've ever listened to. If you are into fantasy, epic fantasy with lots of shit going on, and you like audiobooks, pick that up with it, whether it's the audiobooks, whether it's the physical books, whether it's the ebooks, whatever, do it. I'm very, very excited to read this. I actually don't know what this one's about. I just decided it was high time that I read something else by John Gwynn. And I can't argue with that. Legends tell of the great long ago battle of the gods. Also, that's a dragon. So again, do I have any other reason to pick it up? It's John Gwynn, it's got dragons. No, I don't need any more reasons than that. It's Norse inspired. Okay, the reasons just keep piling up. Am I gonna read this one first? Maybe. When the gods fought, it was a battle so savage they destroyed themselves, leaving nothing but their bones and the broken island, uh, broken land of Vigrid in their wake. Please tell me there's a pronunciation guide. Because me and Norse pronunciations, we're not friends. I would like to be. Right now, not friends. Now, as whispers of war echo over the fjords and across the plains, fate follows in the footsteps of three warriors, a huntress on a perilous quest, a noble woman pursuing battle fame, and a thrall seeking retribution among the mercenaries known as the Bloodsworn. All three will change the course of the world as it once more falls under the shadow of the gods. All I'm saying is it's another Orbit book, okay? In my experience, Orbit does not miss. And if Orbit misses a little bit, it's like shoot for the moon. Even if you, like, even if you miss, even if you fail, you'll land amongst the stars, that kind of shit. It's like pizza. It's like sex. Even when it's not that good, it's still pretty damn good. That's Orbit. 
Okay, I'll just say. Next is one I'm very, very excited about. This is the first book in a sequel series to one of my favorite series. This fucking creepy ass chair is pissing me off. I need a new chair, but I can't get a new chair because this is the chair that we had, that we got to rock our oldest in. And like, I'm a sentimental bitch. The OG trilogy is one of my favorite series, um, but this is the first book in the sequel series to that. This one is The Witchwood Crown by Tad Williams, the first book in the Kings of o The Last King of Austin Ard. Memory Sore on Thorn is the OG trilogy. I, I fucking love it. It's amazing. If you do not like really slow, really heavily detailed world building, a lot of like some people would say unnecessary detail, avoid it at all costs. If you're like me and you love that shit, like the more detail, the better, go go forth pick up that series i am so excited to get into this one um i don't quite remember what this one is about i accidentally bought this one first and then i realized that it was part of a sequel series so it's been on my shelves for a very long time when did this actually come out 2017. this might have been on my tbr since 2017 possibly 2018 and i'm finally getting around to it i love it so much all i'm saying is that it follows some some characters from the first trilogy. I don't want to say much more because I don't want to spoil it for myself. Like I don't want to get into that. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody who might want to pick this up. But the OG trilogy follows a young boy named Simon who is sent on a quest by his mentor um, who is part of this group called the League of the Scroll. And he is sent on this quest because the former king has died and his one son, is now king and he is not doing a great job and the ancient city like these elf like creatures they've come back and they want their land back they're not happy with the humans and there might be some shady shit happening there's definitely shady shit happening i don't remember how much i can say without spoiling like the entire series so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at that but it's a quest. There's there's swords involved. There's a wolf named Kentaka, my favorite character. I love her. And finally, the last one here. Oh, my battery's dying too. Is Sins of Empire by by Brian McClellan, the first book in the Gods of Blood and Powder series. I accidentally picked this one up. Was, this was an accident. I thought this was part of the um, the Powder Mage series um because the the covers look similar i love that book the the for I, I love the first book um promise of blood promise um where are you right behind the chair where in the fuck oh i think it's on the pile on the ground i think i used it for uh for a video anyways really like that one picked this one up thinking that it was part of that series so I don't actually know what this one is about either because I thought it was a sequel and I don't like to read synopsis of sequels, but I'm I'm convinced I'm gonna love this one too because of how much I love the first book in that other series. Oh, son of a bitch. It's set in the same world as the Powder Mage trilogy. I might not be reading this one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna read what the synopsis is because it's set in the same world and I don't know if it's gonna be a sequel series. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research, but tentatively gonna read this one. If not, I'll just pick another big ass book, another bab. What did I say? Another BFB, another, another big fucking book. Which one? I don't know, cause this one is 604 pages long. So let me, let me see if I can find a temporary replacement. Okay, this one is the closest that I can find offhand that's not like a sequel and not historical fiction. I wanted a, a fantasy, but this one's sci-fi, so I might, I might do this one. Shit. Oh, that's the third book of the Wheel of Time, but I haven't read the other ones. Am I gonna do that? I, I don't know. I'm really hoping Sins of Empire works, um, because I'm not really in the mood for sci-fi. I want fantasy. I might read a short fantasy series. I don't know. That one's up in the air. But if I read Sins of Empire or something similar to that, I will still be at my 5,000 pages for the month. 
anyways that's it let me know down below in the comments what you plan on reading in the month of november if you have a reasonable size tbr or if you are like me and you have no shelf control and you are a glutton for punishment basically i think that that might be what it boils down to i don't know i don't I don't know. Or if that's just too much or you don't have a lot of time, drop some hearts down below, preferably purple ones because that's my favorite color. I know I butchered that word, but I'm not even going back to it. We're just gonna, we're gonna breeze past it. As always, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Storygraph, Goodreads, and Threads. Yes. All at Zoe's All Booked, which I will leave linked down below in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video so everyone else can join in on the madness the chaos, the shit show. With that, we have come to the very end of the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I love you awesome nerds and I will see you in the next one.